be honest, like if somebody asked me, like if Dana called me and said, hey, you have fight after one month, I never take this. Mm. Because uh, I care about my legacy. I don't want to fight for the money. I, 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 uh, I don't need to fight for the money, you know. But all, well, every person is different, you know. Like uh, Max Holloway, I hear about inter- his interest. I say, I don't care about belt. I care about check, you know. I think UFC tell him, like, hey, we're going to give you good money. You have to come here. And he say, of course. Because, and this is very big paper show. And he's part of the paper. Mm. Of course, he's going to take this fight. And because he want to fight for the money. So if the shoe was on the other foot, if the roles were reversed, you wouldn't take this fight on six days notice. You think it's crazy for him to do this? For me, I never take this. No. Why? Why I need to take this fight? I need eight weeks train hard, last one week make weight mm. and go to the world. Because when I go to the world, I have to know, hey, I'm ready or no? Because like six days, you cannot be, you cannot training. You have to cut weight all six days, you know? And uh, this is not about, oh, I'm tough. I'm going to show you guys how I'm tough. Of course I'm tough, but I'm smart too. I'm more smart than tough. And uh, people watch on my record and they think, oh, this guy tough. This is not about tough. This is about mind. This is about how you think when you fight. Like, uh, you know, like this is about everything. quick rundown of what went on. I was kind of, uh, me and my wife were getting ready for Easter, and um, I got a call from Lloyd, my manager, it was April 1st, so I, 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 I thought, just like you guys, I kind of thought it was April Fool's joke, but he told me uh, Tony got hurt, and then when he told me how Tony got hurt, I, I really thought it was April Fool's joke, so, um, you know, I, I'm kind of just as shocked and disappointed as, as you guys are. Um, would have would have been great to be to be ready for that fight and be ready to step in and save the day. But um, unfortunately, uh, I'm way way too big to make the 55 pound limit on um, on six days notice. Um, a little I'm a little disappointed. I, I'll be honest. Uh, I'm a disappointed in myself a little bit because I I, sh- I kind of had the foresight to to see see this happening I even talked about it happening but um when it got like three three to four weeks out I just kind of said fuck it um these guys are gonna fight and um there's no, really no reason for me to be ready I'll be honest I'm, I'm probably I'm every bit of 190 right now so um there wasn't even a small chance that I can make 155 to, to make 55 on six days is kind of it, it'd be impossible probably kill myself. Beating Khabib on a six day notice is a very, very uh, tough, tough ask. So um, I think more than anything to fight Khabib, you need to be in shape. So to do it on a six day notice is, um, my hat's off to Max. I think, uh, I think uh, he's, gonna, he's gonna give his best. <laughs> Again, um, guys, no bullshit. I would've, uh, it would've been great to be in shape and, and be ready and be on weight to get to the 55 pound limit, but it's just not happening. Um, I have a scale right here, bingo. I'll let you guys see, uh, I'm no bullshit. Um, my apologies, I'm not making excuses, but to make 55 is, um, for me, w- would not happen. I'll let you guys see for yourself. Yikes. <laughs> so we this happen on Friday, but the accident actually happened Thursday during my media obligations for the UFC. I mean, I was walking to say hi to a Fox crew member and want to say, and I slipped on one of those like big black thick cords in the production studio, but it was dark and it was hard to see, but, man, but I wasn't wearing my shades. I had actually my prescription sunglasses on. And that was when I was about to do my interview in the studio on the herd with uh, Kristen. Wow. So it, it was just a, a freak accident. You're, you're, you're at the Fox lot. You turn to see someone and you trip. And what do you feel? I mean, uh, a lot. Dude. I mean, I don't know the severity of it, but UCPR was with me and they saw it happen. I mean, throughout the whole entire day, they were asking if I was okay. 
But it happened so fast, and it's one week out from fight night on Easter weekend. You guys know me. I don't like to pull out. It sucks to pull out. When you felt whatever you felt on that Thursday um, just last week, did you think that it was serious? Did you know right away that something went wrong? Or just the manner that I slipped, man. I heard it pop, and afterwards I went home, and I did a pool workout and started to feel tension and pain during the workout. Uh, I woke up on Friday with some pain, and I still try to push through it. I mean, you guys know me. I'm tough. I tried to train later that evening, and after even taking the day to rest, but my knee locked up. I woke up Saturday with even more pain, but seriously, I tried to push through and train again, but it locked up again and even given out of me a few times. I mean, swelling up, I mean, I knew that I mean, something was fucked up and more serious. So, I mean, Saturday, dude, like, my team and I, they pushed me to get an MRI in my doc. I, I didn't want to do it. I got the MRI results late Saturday night, and then I saw my ortho doc at his house near midnight. I mean, he spoke to Dr. Davidson of the USC on Sunday morning, and, and they, looked, they looked at my, my images, dude, and they both agreed how shitty my injury was and that I could not fight. I'm not a doctor, but when I saw the MRI image, dude, like, I don't know about you, but it looked like a flag with my ligament, like, it, it was hanging on the side of the bone, dude. I have a ruptured LCL ligament. That's what they told me. And according to the docs, it's off the fibula bone.